quite as bad up here, but it's still, you know, Jesus man, they're like ants, they're just swarming everywhere. Right, I'm off, I'm going to grab myself coffee, be back in a, a sec folks. Right, so I am back with Java Lava. I like this. This has worked out really, really nice, uh, Chickamomo. I'm incredibly impressed, I have to say. Yeah, we needed a roof to protect us from the Hornet, and then we could come up here and just kill stuff too. It almost feels like there's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost feels like there's... Um, I don't know, like it's, it's almost like a small village the way you've done sort of the houses all around and feels cool. All yeah, we gotta sort out is this. Know where everything is. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, there's a sort of a, a pattern to it, isn't there? Um, we just need to sort out Ben's heinous uh, tower, really. <laughs> so it's a true blight on the landscape that is uh, our fortress. This is looking. Like it's got potential here, Captain. I'm not sure yeah. where you're going with it, but... I, I don't know. I was just going for more like a sniping tower, but... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Wait. Alright, yeah. They never seem to come here, do they? Like this, uh... No, they seem to mostly come from the north. Which could be north. a... You know... I've done quite a lot of damage to the barbed wire fence, but it not seems the actual we're barbed wire. On this side too, though. 
See, I want to put lights down there because I could be using the sniper rifle to take these buggers out here. Yeah. Is anyone up for a bit of a wonder tomorrow morning? Sure. Where are we going? Uh. Ooh. You see Spillway Lake? Just to the west of us. Yeah. I don't think could be horribly wrong, but they see like there's four structures running sort of on the southern side of the, the lake. That head down towards scenic overlook. Oh. I don't think I've ever been over that way. Didn't Freddy check that area out already? Freddy, did he? I think so. It's kind of going to be on in ten minutes. <laughs> Pens. <laughs> is it, that tower is going to get nicked. Uh, is this game? The game is actually called Seven Days to Die. Yes, it is called Seven Days to Die. Yes. You know what we should do? We should go to the church and dig up all the graves. Yeah. You sicko. We should do that. They have loot in there. Just do they? The top and the bottom to the top. Oh shit. Shit, I'm just gonna uh, get somewhere we need more quiet. Gas for our stuff? Uh, well, I've got 11 okay. on me, but to be honest, I've got a load of stuff I really need to find a home for. We need a tool shed now. <laughs> we need a Minecraft yeah, auto yeah. um, sorting system, is what we bloody need. Uh, pipes. <laughs> that sounds very nice, Dominica. Grilled egg, bacon, and cheese toast and sandwich. That sounds spot on. You chuck one over, mate. Uh, do I find this better than Days Eager? Uh, completely incomparable, to be honest, Shorty. Two totally different games. Um, I, I've personally never even actually played Daisy, but I feel like I know the game pretty much inside out. I've watched hundreds of hours of uh, footage of it on YouTube and Switch. Um, I know that doesn't ever quite compare to uh, playing it yourself, but I'm just in a, a time in my gaming life where I can't be doing with that amount of griefing, to be honest, mate. I don't care how you look at it, it is bloody griefing. I'm sure it's hysterically funny if you're uh, one of the ones wandering around in a team of three or four. I don't fancy playing that game, sort of. On my loan so many times soon. I don't really know anyone who's actually got the game, so. I think it was. I don't know if it was Daisy or Rust. I'm assuming it's Daisy. It, it probably is Daisy, but I was reading some comments saying that uh, bandits handcuffed them and forced them to eat or drink Poo -poo. bleach, bleach or <laughs> rotten bananas, and then they died. Yeah. There was one where they uh, a, a team of bandits came across um, three guys. And two of the guys had got yellow jackets, and they yeah. forced the one who wasn't wearing the yellow jacket to sit to the side while the two with yellow jackets fought to the death. <laughs> Basically, what happened was one of the guys in the yellow jackets, they put two axes down, and they both had to make a run for the axes, and whoever won earned the right to wear the, the yellow jackets for the rest, of the, the rest of their life, basically. But what happened was <laughs> one ran for the axe, and the other one literally legged it in the opposite direction, so the bandit shot him in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, fantastic comedy watching it on YouTube, but if that had been me, personally, I'd have been pretty pissed off, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then there's the, the, the friendly bandit. I saw that video where he, <laughs> he took the guy's can opener and gave him a bunch of other stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's some fantastic tales to be told out of Daisy, and I think that's part of the fun of the game. And to be honest, don't get me wrong, I, I think I would love to play it, but I, mm. I'd need to know I was playing. I think I'd need someone to sort of show me the ropes. So, you know, I'd hate to think I'd spend the first few days playing it just getting basically shot constantly or being forced <laughs> to drink bleach. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite, not quite my idea of gaming Nirvana, but... Uh, like I said, the game, you know, it does look pretty cool. There's just a lot of problems with it still, aren't there? Hopefully they'll iron them out, and maybe by the time I pick it up, it'll be uh, pretty good. 
Yeah. See, Rust just never, never has clicked with me. I, you know, I've watched a fair bit of it, but um. Just, I don't know. Where the hell's all the iron, Chickamoma? I, I can't understand your inventory system here. Uh, I don't know. I just put all the stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I found everything except iron. I'm sure it was down here a minute ago. <laughs> I'm right, I found some. You. There's some coal ore and iron ore, so I'm putting it in there. If we find any uh, tins or hubcaps, uh, don't turn them into um, crap just yet. Oh, I, I found it. Use a few. What? So you actually want the scrap metal, yeah? Well, the uh, the like air filter and the uh, oh, right, tin okay. can. No problem, mate. Right? I'm going to put the chainsaw and all the fuel in the chest that's just near the bunker entrance in case anyone needs it. Okay. Uh, if you put in the armory on the right side when you go in, there's a chainsaw auger and some gas in there too. Uh, the armory. That'd be this, yeah? yeah Whoa, Jesus. Know. Which Which chest was it? It should be on the right, uh, all the way at the end, bottom. Oh yeah, I've got yeah. No, oh, yeah, nice one. Oh, that's cool. Very impressive. Right. So is ammo on the. Jesus, good lord, man. Oh yes, I'm living it. Oh, 10 mil magazines as well. I'm, I'm in heaven. Well, I've got fear, I've got water, I've got... Oh, I've got another shotgun. Yes. Uh, no, I'll leave it. Oh, Jesus Christ, they are so loud today. What is going on, man? Yeah. Oh, shit, look at this lot. Oh, my word. I'm worried that I'm doing quite a lot of damage to the trunk tips when I do this, but I, I just need them to shut up. Ah! Nearly fell off the edge. Really? Took an awful lot of shots. See all that loot down there now, look, but I, there's no way I'm going down there. Oh, it's, oh hang on. Do you know? Oh no, we'll leave it. Is Infestation Survivor Stories any good? Isn't that just War Z, basically, isn't it? It's got a bit of a bad rep, that restore, because of... Uh, well, I won't go into it. <laughs> yeah, so Mike Dominic, yeah. Hello, Kretox, how you doing? We'd love to know what you're saying, Kretox, I tell you. Hello, Strossus, how you doing? Hello, Kale. Uh, we're on difficulty three of four, um, which I am actually going to change. We're going to do a bit of the horde mode later. 